Hey YouTube, this is Fire Alarm Freak 529 and this is a requested video showing you actually you know what this isn't a request video. No to fire alarms, this is not your requested video. I'll work on that tomorrow because I don't have everything in here right now. I just have my new stuff. Alright, so this is all stuff that I found on my doorstep when I got back from Bakersfield today. So this is a wheel lock MT horn strobe. And that is my dog. Not sorry, not horn strobe, just multi tone horn. It's got on the back it's a two wire alarm and it's got dip switches which are right kinda there. Kinda dark in here, but um so, oops, I'll put that somewhere. This is a Potter. Oh, this thing's heavy. A Potter PBA 1206 bell. Motor bell, I believe. And, so it's, it's, this is pretty cool. I don't know if I'll use it or not. And if I don't, I'll probably sell it. But, I don't know. I might, I'll probably keep it. It's pretty cool. And let me greet my keys so I can open the panel. Uh, let me find the right key. Um, I was taking forever. So this is it. See, it's got the firelight symbol on it. I don't know how you can see that. Right there. So. And well, I'll go to the panel last. So that's the big thing. This is a BG8. It's actually in activated mode. Let me reset it. Okay, so I reset it. Um, these things are really hard to pull. I see why they. Like my school has these. The good part of my school has these. And, well, they're firelight, but they're silent night versions of the BG8. They're exactly the same. And we have these in the gym. And someone still managed to pull them when we were playing dodgeball, running away from the wall. They had their hand like this and they ran and they pulled it. But that was a good day for all of us because we got out of math, but we really excited. But, so, I'm not going to pull this because it's really hard to pull with one hand. Like, I couldn't do it, basically, unless it was mounted. But, yeah, so, just a standard firelight key for that. And then, this is a firelight MP24 panel. Fire control panel. Um, it's two zones. Um, it's really old, but it's in great condition. I mean, you know, there's no paint chips. See, MP24. I'm going to open it so I can get my key in. I think I might need to put some WD-40 on this lock. And also, the door comes off. It's supposed to do that. It's not a secured door. I kind of like that could be good, you know. I don't know. But, so this is the inside. Really simple design. Oops, dropped the camera. Anyway. Um, this is the, these are the buttons. So you've got alarm, zone 1 or zone 2, trouble, and AC LEDs. Um, it's got a reset button a trouble silence and a disable button. So if an alarm comes in, whether it's on zone one or two, you would push after you go confirm, you push actually disable. And then the piezo or the buzzer or whatever however you pronounce piezo or whatever on the alarm will stop you from until you push trouble silence. And then to reset, you push reset. So, that's kind of a different design, but I like it. And then I'll show you the circuit board. 
actually really like this panel. It's pretty small, so it'll fit. Uh, keep that screw right there. So there's the inside, or the circuit board. I'm not going. No, it's really small. Let me unhook this. I'm gonna set the camera down for a second. Ah. Okay, so this is the circuit board. You've got all your terminals there. There's the end of line resistors. Circuit breaker switch right there for AC power. AC plug that goes to transformer. That's a good song. Um, here's the buzzer piezo thing. The buttons. So here's. I'm gonna set this down so I can point. Okay, so these first two terminals are AC power. This is the NAC circuit. This is... well, I'm confused. This is zone 1 initiating devices, and zone 2 initiating devices. In the middle of the... where my two fingers are, both positive, and the middle one is negative, so they share that. So... yeah. So that, my friends, if I can get this thing back in the box. Uh oh, he's bent something. We'll go back in. And I hope you can hear me with the music going. It's not all that loud, but I guess really like music. So. I play trumpet, so. Okay, well, I'll just put that back in later, but. And it does have plexiglass right there in the window. So, what was that? Oh, my screw. So, um, actually, I'm gonna take this back out for a second. And I'll show you something. Man, there's a lot of broken parts in here. I'm going to be pissed if something's busted. So I'm just going to show you real quick. I just had the shell here, but nothing's in it and I took off the door. I'm just going to show you. Okay, hold on. Let me set the camera. Stupid box. So see, it'll be up on my wall, like right there, and I'll wire it in the light switch, which is right there behind that box. So yeah. So that's my new stuff. Um, I really like this panel. It's cool. I mean, I, you can't code it or anything, but um, you know, it's still cool. It's simple. And my parents are okay with it because it's really small. It's, yeah. So I'm, I'm really happy. I got this really cheap too. 30 bucks and then, you know, it costed some more to ship it. Like 20 to ship. Because it came from like Florida or something. But, um, and so it's a really good panel. Um, if anyone has any questions, you know, contact me and notify our alarms when we do requ requested a video from me I'm doing a demonstration of all my equipment so I'll probably work on that tomorrow November 3rd just so if notify our alarms watches this know that I didn't you know I'm not blowing off your request I'm gonna work on it. I just don't have access to all my stuff right now to my garage it's 1030 at night and I don't want to go out and get it because my parents are asleep right now. So, anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll make that request video for Notifier Alarms tomorrow. All right, bye.